using old outdated vintage equipment from the late 70s this is an Atari 400 from 1979 and an Atari 410 tape recorder which I don't know when it was released uh, but this video is going to be about loading software on this computer which when it originally came out only had 4k RAM then they up it to 16k this particular 400 has been upgraded to 48k and in order to use it you've got to have a basic cartridge because it didn't come with basic inside pop it slid put in basic and we're ready to go I found a bunch of these old Atari cassettes online really cheap I thought you know something it'd be interesting to see what's on them I wasn't really aware that Atari released any cassette based uh, software for these computers so I'm going to pop it in here and take a look we're going to turn on the TV and then turn on the computer basic now in order for this to work you got to top a few command well one command C load and it beeps now after it does that you need to press play then press the return key on the computer and watch the magic happen the uh, tape player now starts moving and the tape player won't start playing until you actually press return on the computer then you'll start hearing tones on the computer loading in the software this takes a while now we get a ready prompt and at this point got the top run and it started I don't have the workbook, but I'll press return to go on. The Atari computer uses sound registers to produce sounds. The sound registers are activated when certain numbers are placed in them. The first number in the sound register is pitch. Pitch is how low or high the sound is. Type a number between 1 and 255 into this sound register and listen to the pitch produced. Experiment with changing this value. That is, Type in various pitch values, then listen to the sounds produced. Type in a zero when you are ready to continue. Go. So that was just a quick example of how 
the Atari 8-bit computers handled cassette programs. Atari had a separate channel for the audio that you heard over the tape. So you could have software and regular audio on the same tape. It's pretty cool the way they did it. So I've got a bunch more of those cassettes that uh, I'll probably do videos on in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then give it a thumbs up. <laughs> or a thumbs down. Alright, talk to you guys later. For more content, you can visit www.scottyanimation.com. There's a lot more stuff on there.